Now, I'm pretty sure you are as excited as I am about the new home site app that will be available in Microsoft Teams. I'm pretty soon, looks like it's March, but believe me, time flies when you're having fun, right? Now, what that is going to give us is the ability to have a button inside of Microsoft Teams to navigate straight to your um, company intranet. Now, of course, I've been doing this for a long time already because I think it's the greatest adoption tool is to add the intranet where people are working already. Instead of accept, uh, expecting them to navigate away to, uh, to a browser and to go to the intranet. The challenge I had with that is that it stripped out the top navigation. So users couldn't navigate to other pages. And then, of course, there's a couple of other things that didn't work so great either. But still, that didn't stop me doing it. So while we're waiting for this new feature to roll out, because everyone is up in arms, they want it as soon as possible, and it does feel like it's going to be light years away before we do get the feature, I want to show you a quick workaround that I've been using to just make this work, and I'll continue using it until we eventually have the home site app inside of Microsoft Teams. So let's take a look at my intranet. So this is my farming and stuff intranet. Okay, so it's all about farm life and cows and animals and awesome things and cows protesting that we should eat more chicken and things. But uh, what I do have, and this is not a hub site though, but what I do have is that I do have a top navigation at the top, which allows users to actually navigate to different areas in the site. So to navigate to different departments, or to navigate to the different content that's available, etc. Now, this, as mentioned, is not available when the site is added inside of Microsoft Teams. So let me show what I mean by that. So if I add this intranet site as a tab inside of Teams, you'll see that the top navigation is not available. And that might be very, very confusing for users. So let's see at how we can fix that. And I know that this is a workaround, and I know that it's a little bit of extra effort, but I promise you that it's absolutely worth it. So what I've done is that I've taken the top navigation and I've duplicated it. So the navigation that I see at the top and the areas that are important, I've actually added it at the bottom of my page as quick links. So yeah, it's not that top navigation changes every day. So you'll see there, there's my top navigation and I've done my categories as well. So my different departments, my communication, the details about the business, etc. So that's pretty much the same as what you would see there. And of course you can add more. And I just did it with normal quick links. Okay, very simple. It looks like a little footer nearly um, on the site. So this will stay there even if it strips out the top navigation, which means that when I add this site, so if I just copy the URL and I take this into Teams, so I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to go to Microsoft Teams and I'll just show you how I did this. I'm going to click and add a tab. I'm going to add SharePoint. It's not the existing SharePoint site that's behind my team. It's actually another SharePoint site. I'm going to paste the URL and let's actually add this. So as mentioned, it will then not have the top navigation at the top. But you'll see that I've added a little note there. Then what I did is that I added a text web part above that navigation. There you can see it. And I've marked it as a header one. And I've copied that URL that it gives me. And at the top of the page, I then added a little note that says, when browsing in Teams, your top navigation won't be visible. Be patient. It's coming soon. Click here to see the top navigation. And if I click there, it actually navigates to the bottom of the page where I got that URL to the header. So let's see how that can work inside of Microsoft Teams. You'll see that there's the text web part. And there we go. It navigates me straight down to my repeated top navigation, if that makes sense. I really hope that this will um, help you just to cope with the waiting game until we actually get that uh, home site app inside of Microsoft Teams. I think this is going to be a game changer, and I definitely see this assisting with user adoption greatly.